Friends, today I'm going to tell you a little speech about Environment Day. My friends, we are celebrating Environment Day to keep our environment healthy. In every year, June 5th, we celebrate Environment Day. The first Environment Day was celebrated in 1974. In every year, a country hosts the Environment Day. Now, Pakistan hosts the Environment Day. And the theme is Ecosystem Restoration. And two years before, India hosted the Environment Day. And the theme was Beat Plastic Pollution. And the first theme was only one earth so i hope you have a healthy environment deal so bye bye hi friends today world environment day world environment day is celebrated on 5th june every year is celebrated to remind us to take care of environment. It's my humble request all. Please save natural resources for next generation. Thank you. I'm Colin. Today, June 5th. Work and yamat day. Please grab a painting. Please day. Please to raise yes. awareness and protect our environment. We must and plant more trees in never. Good morning, uh, principal, teachers, all friends. Uh, I am Sherry Ali of Query 2. World Environment Day is June 5th. The environment is important for our life. Good morning and live happy. Thank you. of medicinal plants. It is aloe vera, probably widely known as. It's antibacterial, antiviral, and antiseptic properties. Due to these properties, it is used for our skin treatment and wound healing. Aloe vera is a succulent plant. It's under family catechs. It does not have a stem. The leaves are very thick and fleshy. The margin of leaves are small tips. It is original from Arabian Peninsula and Arabian Peninsula. It is surviving the under of water. Hmm. It requires, uh, requires less content of water. It can grow as an indoor plant. It is widely cultivated for agriculture and medicinal uses. Aloe vera is used in beverages, skin lotions, cosmetics. Beauty products, all men's, baby products, etc. It is used for treating. Mouth ulcers, mouth ulcers, and teeth cavities. It has 
also helps to digest our foods and control our blood sugar blood blood levels these are a few uh, these are a few uh, benefits of aloe vera grow at least uh, a one one planting your garden for your Another plant planted my way. This is Rambutan. Hi friends! Today I'm going to give you a little information about my favorite plant. This plant is a carnivorous plant. It's called a bitter plant. Yeah, bitter plants are shaped like a handmade pot. And Bitter plants have a fluid to attract bugs and they when the bug comes to drink a little bit the bug gets stuck in the fluid. This bitter plant is a carnivorous plant. Some bitter plants have a lid to close their prey. Some bitter plants are very, very big that they can even catch mice and frogs. So, bye bye. Assalamu alaikum. Rose plant is my favorite plant. It is a shrub. It has small thorns to protect. It self <coughs> itself from heavy wars. It has round and deep green colored leaves. Rose flower is a, a famous flower. It is called King of ki, the King of Flowers. Rose colors, rose, rose flowers are found in different colors like red, pink, orange, etc. Red rose is the most popular. Among them, rose flower is used in perfume as it has a very good smell. It is also used food product used to add flavor. Thus, rose plant is loved. For its aroma, beauty, and and usefulness. Assalamu alaikum, respected teachers and my dear friends. I am Mohammed Pabshir from grade 3. I am talking about the topic my favorite plant. My favorite plant is Tulasi. The Tulasi plant also known as Basi is very common plant in Indian households. It is the most sacred of all the herbs found in India. It has been used in India from more than 5000 years and is well known for its healing properties on 
mind, body and soul. Assalamu alaikum. Nani bade parayan pogunadu mau merite patitana. Nangude lipande uti belie mau merendu. Nangude lipande uti uchitte dani. Adi pache mangi down, kani mangi down, palta mangi down. Ada kiri kisah. Hi friends, today I'm making a carry bag using newspaper. For this we need an old newspaper, a string, then scissor, gum, you can fold a two layer newspaper. Then apply the gun here. Then fold this way. Then fold this way. Now, now apply gum. Now apply gum. Now apply gum. Make a hole here, then tie the string here. Look everyone, our carry bag is ready. You can use to carry the books. You can take it for shopping. Okay, bye.